What's going on you guys? Welcome to another awesome video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can take a simple design that you can download anywhere or you can make it yourself and add fun little logos onto it that, that, can, that can be printed on your XYZ printing DaVinci color printer. So the design from this I watched one of Joel Tilling's 3D printing nerd video to get the dimensions and they perfectly fit a Red Bull can which is great. The idea of this is that you can personalize any STL um, using free software that's available on Windows. So you can see I made a couple, I made a little Homer Simpson little Pokeball, a Red Bull, Red Bull koozie, and the last one, the XYZ printing logo. This one here is going to be the example that I'm going to show you how you can take an STL, add a logo onto it, and then the way to save it for the proper formatting so that you can print it in full color on a DaVinci full color printer get into it. So I jumped into Google and then I searched for the XYZ printing logo PNG. Now this is very important that you search for a PNG because this is an image without a background. And you know this when you open up the image you'll see the logo there and in the background will have this grand white checkerboard thing. That's the first indication that this is a PNG. And then you can right click this image and save it as an image. Make sure at the bottom it says PNG and hit save. So we're going to use a software called Paint 3D. It's free part, it's a free software that's part of the creative update on Windows 10. In the software, we're going to be importing the STL and stamping the logo onto the STL. Uh, the design for this I made myself in SolidWorks. So we're going to start off, we're going to go to Insert. We'll find the STL. And then let it load up. We'll use these little nodes on the right hand side and holding Shift to snap in the correct orientation. We're then going to go to the paint section on the top left. We're going to use the paint bucket to fill the entire the model. Basically, we're giving a white color to the entire model because when you with the full color printer, when you make something white, it adds no color to it. So we don't want to make the entire thing full color. We just want the logo to be there. We then go to the stickers area. We add a sticker. We then find the PNG that we are looking for and it lays it on there. From there you can then size it up and bring it to the size that you want. You just got to be a bit careful. You don't want to stretch it too much because it does warp around the, the, the corners. And once you're happy, you then tick it. If you pre press the select button, you can then rotate it and have a look at it. See what it will look like. Once you're happy with that, we need to save it. So we're going to be saving this as a 3MF. This is a format that keeps the textures with it, but unfortunately the XYZ printing DaVinci software does not support this format. So while saving it, it's also important to have no spaces in the name. Next we're going to be opening up 3D Builder. This is also a free software available on Windows Creative Update. This is the software we're going to be importing our 3MF um, file and then just simply repairing it, giving it the correct size and then exporting it as an OBJ that has the texture file with it as well as the UV mapping. This is what the XYZ printing software understands in, where enabled in order to print in full color. So on the bottom right, a little message pops up to say we need to repair it. Because we ran it through 3D Paint, it lost all of its dimensional accuracy in terms of its size. So we're going to use the scale option. Make sure you click on the arrow and, um, to change it to green and that will be the driving arrow. 
So once it's green, I know any dimensions that I put in there, it's going to be that axis. So I, I know for a fact that it's 60 millimeters high and that will give us the correct size. Next we go to object and we use the command settle. This makes sure that the flat face at the bottom sits perfectly flat on the bottom plane. Um, using 3D build, using 3D paint it can sometimes mess up the orientation just slightly. We then go to save as and we then select OBJ, OBJ for that. We save the, S, the OBJ file, then we're going to be saving the material file under the exact same name and then the UV mapping will be a number and we save that. So it's three files that are needed. Next we open up the XYZ printing software go through all the little pop-ups and then we open up our OBJ click and drag it and voila you have it in there double check on your sizes on the right hand side to make sure it's the correct size the biggest problem with the software is that you cannot orientate so make sure you orientate beforehand on here I also use the op the options land and center this again make sure it's on the platform and it's centered we then go to File, Print, and select the DaVinci Printer. This is the actual slicing software within XYZ Maker. Make sure your printer is connected. If you are going through Wi-Fi, if not, you just save it onto an SD card and into a USB and you save it. The settings I chose for this was normal. I then put on a brim to help it stick and hit Start. I'll then do slicing complete. And I'll show you all of your layers and it'll also give you the information of how much ink will be used and how much ink you have left in your printer. It's also important to double check the color because sometimes it doesn't come out right and you've got to make sure it's all correct. And once it's done hit print and it sends it off to your printer. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned a lot from it. Um, it's really cool that you can then down, you can st start to download your favorite STLs, adding color and textures to it, and then printing it out, all with free software. If you'd like to design your own things, you can use any software that allows you to save as an STL and go through this process to create your own awesome customized objects. And branding is a very good idea for this kind of printer to create you know, custom company logo branded objects that are then 3D printed as well. Really, really cool. So a fun little project and I hope to learn more and do more advanced textures and coloring and creating my own logos and putting them on. Please give this video a like. Please comment down below if you have any questions or the techniques that are used. And please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you guys in the next one. I really wish I could drink this, but doctor says no.